Hey y'all, welcome back. Hey, Smash Burger Tacos is the craze right now on the internet. But we're gonna take it one step farther and we're gonna do a breakfast Smash Burger Taco. It's gonna be some good groceries. We're gonna do it on the Blackstone Griddle. Y'all stay tuned. some good groceries. All right, so how are we gonna do these smash burger tacos? I'm gonna start out with some breakfast sausage. This is just ground sausage that we can get locally. And I wanna just take a ball of it, just like the smash burger tacos. It's gonna be about a three ounce ball. Get these ready, lay them right over here on our piece of aluminum foil that we have. So we got all of our balls, we got those ready. Let's talk about tortillas. I just use just a standard old tortilla. This is just a flour tortilla for soft tacos. Some people get a little weirded out. They want to cook their protein before. Uh, I would say just do it however you want. Some people will smear the sausage onto their tortilla, put it on the black stone, however you want to do it. Personally, I like to take the ball of meat, put it on the griddle, use this as uh, my smasher. I put my smasher on top of this and I'll smash it real thin. It works. It gets done, it's not underdone. So it, it's just worked for me and I've done this a few times already. So just FYI. Once you got all of your sausage balls done, now let's get her on the griddle. Let's get these things to cooking, y'all. All right, we're gonna get each one of our balls, we're gonna get those down onto the griddle. And then after that, we're gonna bring our tortilla and put those on top. We're gonna take our Blackstone Smasher and we start with the first ball and tortilla that we put down and we just make a assembly line. We smash each one of those nice and flat. All right, after a few minutes, now it's time to flip these dudes. And it might be a little difficult because of your, when you smash them. But there you go, look at that. It's nice and done. They're so thin, there's no doubt that they're cooked, okay? So now we're just getting the other side of that tortilla. And the cool thing is that some of that sausage grease came out and you're cooking that tortilla in that sausage grease. How cool is that? After about two minutes uh, on this other side, the tortilla, you wanna cook it. We're gonna take these off and put them over on our cutting board. Now, I got a really cool treat. So you could do sliced cheese, American cheese, cheddar cheese, whatever you want, but we're gonna do a fried cheese on top of these dudes. We ain't playing around, y'all. So we got eight breakfast tacos, and we're just gonna make eight piles of cheese. It's something about when you fry this cheese on that flat top, it gets a nice little crisp to it. It is so, so darn good. See how this is crispy around those edges, nice and bubbly. We're gonna take our tacos, we're gonna set right on top of each one of those. Oh man, look at that cheese right there. Dang it, boys and girls. Once we flip those tortillas over with the cheese, now we're gonna take those off of the griddle again, and now we're gonna get ready for our eggs. We're gonna do a fried egg on here. So with eggs, we're gonna add a little bit of butter to our griddle, and we also like nice and low griddle temperatures for eggs. We wanna make sure we don't make them black. All right, so we're gonna do six eggs for this. I know I have eight. We're gonna do two without eggs. For eggs on a griddle, if you're doing sunny side up, you see there's just like this clear area on the egg. If you bust that up, it'll cook a lot faster and you won't have to flip it onto the other side. There's several ways of doing sunny side up egg. You know, you could put a dome over that and put a little bit of water and steam it. But what I don't like is it will cloud the top of the egg. If you don't do that, that's why I like to just kind of go around and separate that clear part of the egg, it makes it cook. It just makes a better presentation. All right, check out our eggs here. The whites are nice and set. Yolks, got a little bit of firmness to them on that bottom. They're good to go, y'all. Man, look at these bad boys right here, y'all. That is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, I didn't salt and pepper these, y'all. So I got these three nice sauces from Herdez, Mega Mex Foods. You get these uh, in your sauce aisle of your supermarket. And I thought, eh, this right here has got a lot of flavor. All right, let's give this a try, y'all. Man, oh man. Mmm. Mmm. I'm gonna need a minute, y'all. Dang it, boy. That is a breakfast smash burger taco right there now. It's so flavorful, nice spices. I taste the red pepper, a little bit of fennel. Boy, that is good. The fried egg's great, and that fried cheese, man. And that Herdez sauce, that Roja is what I tried on that. That's just a fantastic flavor, y'all. Y'all give these things a try. I guarantee everyone will love them. Hey, appreciate you watching, y'all. That's all I have today. 
hey, head on over to the Blackstone Network where you'll find other awesome videos just like this. Also, griddlenation.com. Bunch of, bunch of good inspiration over there. And also our friends over at Mega Mex Foods, Herdez, they make some awesome products. Go give them a try. Hey, I'm Matt Hussey, and that's some good groceries.